Hey everyone, welcome to historic Daytona International Speedway for the Rolex 24 and another edition of ZF Fast Track. I'm Bradley Hasemeyer and today we're going to be taking a closer look at the number 24 Ray Hall Letterman Lanigan BMW M8 GTE, which has been modified so Italian driver Alex Zanardi, who lost his legs in a race in 2001, can compete alongside his teammates here at Daytona. It's uh, very special for many different reasons, one of which is probably the ZF centrifugal clutch. With the system we have, it's basically impossible to kill the engine, so it's interesting, it's been very much for me to develop new set of controls together with BMW to improve my capability to endure into the distance. We have recently switched from uh, a set of controls which was basically allowing me to use a brake pedal via my prosthetical leg uh, to a new set of control where I'm doing everything with my hand. In every pit stop uh, you don't have to forget that we also have to uh, swap the steering wheel. Uh, because in my steering wheel I also have the throttle mechanism and uh, the way I slow the car down is uh, via a very strong and tall lever mounted on the engine tunnel behind which I also have a trigger to downshift gears whenever I approach the turns. It just works beautifully and for sure to not have the complication of having to operate a clutch we have less problems than they have next door in the other car with a normal clutch. All right, here we are with Patrick Oath. Patrick, thanks for being here. All right, so now this has got to be one of the most unique projects you've ever worked on, right? Mm -hmm. This clutch? Actually, we worked with this clutch in several projects already. For example, when Alex Zanardi raced uh, in the DTM last year, we are using it in off-road racing here in the US, once a 24-hour race at the Mall in an LMP2 car. We've been working with this clutch uh, quite, some, quite a bit in the past. Yeah. Explain a little bit how this anti-stall clutch works. Mm -hmm. So the MTS stall clutch is basically um, a centrifugal uh, clutch, so it's um, RPM based. The higher the RPM is, the more um, torque you can transmit. Once the RPM drops under a certain level, the clutch automatically opens, so the car won't stall. Whereas when you have a traditional clutch and just release the clutch and basically the tires have a lot of grip. And the clutch kind of kills the engine, exactly. right? That's why yeah. you get the, the bog yeah. down sound. When you have a pit stop here at the 24 hour race, you cannot stall the car when you're driving off from the pit stop. You often bump into the situation where the mechanic gives you a wave to go and then somebody's coming so it kind of uh, changes the gesture and holds you for a second so you have to go back and reach for the clutch, the RPM drops and maybe you stole the engine and you can lose a lot of time there. Essentially this whole unit rotates, right? Yeah. And, and this is the weightedness that creates that centrifugal opening. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Or yeah, closing of the clutch. Or closing, yeah. yeah, okay. And then you can make some adjustments on here? Yeah, you can add more weights basically by adding washers here and or putting in bigger, bigger bolts and things like that. Yeah. Wow. And then adding more weight and then the clutch would engage more aggressive. It's a new concept and um, there are certain rules in different race series. So other leagues have said no to it, but you're racing it at IMSA. Do, do people know this? This is legal, right? This is okay. Yeah, for sure. It, here it's legal. And, okay. Um, well, it seems brilliant to me. Mm -hmm. And I love the application with Alex. Mm -hmm. Not only making him fast, but making him, him feel. There's this emotional element to it as well. And I think, yes, it's mechanical, but ultimately it's emotional. I think that's rad. You know, now I'm here in Daytona, just about to start one of the races that has always been like one dream for me. I want to be at the Rolex 24 in Daytona, and here I am. Technology these days is providing solutions that were not available uh, few, just a few years ago. I'm sure some of the materials being introduced into motorsports were maybe developed for bigger machinery that have different type of problems, different type of stress on the metals, on the material. And then it comes the day where an engineer uh, may say, okay, that particular material that we develop, it's probably the cat's meow, the solution we need uh, to develop the, this tiny little clutch that we have to fit into Zanardi's car. And this is, uh, you know, what human beings are capable of doing. Technology, computer can give great answer, but only us, as human beings, we are capable of making the right questions. 